we come together to commemorate a period of history known as the Holocaust, or in Hebrew, the Shoah. We pause to remember what happened and to assert our commitment to a world in which all people will live side by side, without hatred, without bigotry, without violence. We come together in sorrow. We mourn those who lost their lives and we mourn an entire Jewish way of life that perished with them. We seek to make our own lives worry of their incredible suffering and sacrifice. We seek to affirm our own humanity by recalling theirs. For the loss of millions of people of various nationalities and backgrounds, for a campaign of annihilation and destruction, for years of systematic and relentless mass murder. We hope to create a future with no more genocides, no more Holocaust. We hope we will have the wisdom to recognize evil and the courage to resist it. We remember all who were murdered, Jews and Gentiles, victims, martyrs, heroes. We honor those who died because they were Jews, those who died because they helped Jews, those who died because they resisted Nazis. Izkor Elohim et nishmot achenu v'achyotenu בני ישראל, חללי השואה וגיבוריה, נשמות שש מאות רבבות אלפי ישראל, שהומתו, ושנהרגו, ושנחנקו, ושנקברו חיים, ואת קהילות הקודש שנחרבו על קדושת השם. יזכור אלוהים את עקדתם עם עקדת שער קדושי ישראל, וגיבוריו מימי עולם, ויצרור בצרור החיים את נשמתם. הנאהבים והנעימים בחייהם ובמותם לא נפרדו. ינוחו בשלום על משכבותם, ונאמר אמן. May God remember those slaughtered alongside the martyrs and heroes of Israel for all days, and may God bind their souls up in the bonds of everlasting life. May the love and pleasantries in their life, as in their death, never be separate. May they rest in peace, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Sheket pnina chrisha kan somchim kvarim Ha sonim otam nata upol me'avarim El puna dochim yovilu derech en lochso Liv li shub halach lo abba Sheket bnili mat monili al nikevich ev. Kibain kovacho bichyenu lo yavim oyev. Gam hayam gvulot vachoflo, gam hakeves yag vasoflo. Enu tenu zot, ipli kvulot, ipli kvulot. From 1933 to 1945, as Jews confronted increasing exclusion and degradation in Germany and Nazi-occupied Europe, the atmosphere became more difficult and oppressive each day. 
in memory of the terrible events that shaped this history and in honor of the six million Jews who ultimately perished in the Holocaust, we light six candles. Self-reliance. German Jews struggled to lead normal lives under challenging circumstances. To survive, many focused on building self-reliance and created their own Jewish cultural, professional, educational, and social service organizations. Mary Offentier was one of many Jewish youth to join a Jewish sports club. Among her many precious possessions was a sports blouse emblazoned with the Star of David, which she wore with pride from 1936 to 1938 in Berlin. In honor of those who found strength in their Jewish heritage, a candle is lit. Kristallnacht. Nazi hate turned violent in an eruption of anti-Semitism known as Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass. Across Germany, from November 9th to 10th, 1938, mobs torched, attacked, and destroyed synagogues, Jewish shops, and homes, and arrested and murdered men on the street. In the Gestapo, the Nazi secret state police came looking for Seligman Bamberger in the city of Hamburg. He was not at home. He was at his synagogue rescuing, rescuing the holy Torah scroll of his community from damage. In honor of those who saw their homes and community life destroyed, a candle is lit. Seeking refuge, increasingly, Jews felt that they must flee Germany, yet endless paperwork was required to emigrate and then enter any other country. Few nations were willing to accept Jews seeking refuge. Leaving Germany also meant giving up jobs, homes, and a culture of which they were a part. When England announced that, the, it, would, that it would take a, in Jewish children under the Kinder Transport Program, many parents chose to send their children to possible safety. Loving parents Isidore and Grete Lafour Ludwig Schiffen, Germany, entrusted their daughter Edith into the hands of strangers in England. In honor of these and the other parents who faced impossible decisions, a candle is lit. Ghetto. In 1939, Germany invaded Poland, and by 1940, most of Western Europe came came under Nazi domination. In Eastern Europe, Jews were forced into ghettos where hunger, overcrowding, and poor sanitation bred conflict and disease. Despite the daily humiliation, Jews made heroic attempts to preserve their dignity. Rabbi Zehev Wolf Rosenberg hid a few valuable religious possessions in his backyard, but also kept a spice box with him when deported from Hungary. Though flattened and hidden, this ritual gave the Rosenbergs hope despite the injustices of life in the ghetto and the camps. In, in honor of those who fought against hate by remembering their own humanity, humanity a candle is lit. and death throughout Nazi-occupied Europe. They were soon the nightmare of the concentration camps and ghettos. Six places had a unique purpose. These were the killing centers, built to murder all the world's Jews swiftly and efficiently. Auschwitz, Birkenau, Belzec, Chelmenau, Majdanek, Sobibor, and Treblinka. Young Jacques Wisnek from Paris was just one of the innocent victims. He was deported to Sobibor the day before his 10th birthday along with his mother and brother, in honor of those who confronted an existence more terrifying than any they could have imagined, a candle is lit.
liberation. For Jews, liberation was the end of a nightmare, but it was also the beginning of a painful process. Survivors had to cope with sorrow, sickness, and unprecedented loss. When 14-year-old Alita Finkelstein made her way to America, from a small green suitcase of all her belongings, she was reunited with her father, the only surviving member of the family. In honor of those who lost almost everything, a candle is lit. The Last Butterfly was written by Pavel Friedman, who was born in Prague and deported to Terezin Ghetto at age 11. Pavel perished in Auschwitz in 1944, but his poem remains to this day in the collection of the State Jewish Museum in Prague. Many Jews and Jewish children expressed their suffering through poetry, drawing, and music. Through their dreams and visions, they could escape their harsh reality and difficult conditions of living in the ghetto. Avraham Kaplowitz wrote of his dreams to escape freedom. He also perished in Auschwitz in 1944. He left us with his words of hope. A Dream by Avraham Kaplowitz. When I grow up and reach the age of 20, I'll set out to see the enchanting world. I'll take a seat in a bird with a motor. I'll rise and soar into space. I'll fly, sail, hover over the lovely faraway world. I'll soar over rivers and oceans. Skyward shall I ascend and blossom. A cloud my sister, the wind my brother. I'll see the pyramids and the sphinx. I'll fly over Niagara Falls. I'll drift over the cloud-strewn cliffs of Tibet. By wind, I'll cross the great kangaroo island. I'll fly slowly, hovering lazily, and thus basking in the enchantment of this world. Skyward shall I soar and blossom, a cloud my sister, the wind my brother. First they came by part by Pastor Martin Niemöller. First they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out, because I was not a Jew. Then they came for the communists, and I did not speak out, because I was not a communist. And then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out, because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me.
מרגיש דברים שאסור לראות תשמור על העולם מילד אם תראה תפסיק להיות גיבור שהעולם ילד עם חיוך של מלאכים תשמור על העולם ילד כי אנחנו כבר לא מצליחים תשמור על העולם ילד אל תגזים במחשבות כי כמה שתדע יותר ילד אתה רק תבין פחות, ובשעה מסוימת נזכרות כל הדתות, וכל אהבה נגמרת, רק אתה ממשיך לטהות. שאסור לראות, תשמור על העולם מילד, אם תראה תפסיק להיות, כי פה שהעולם מילד, עם חיוך של מלאכים, תשמור על העולם מילד, כי אנחנו כבר לא מצליחים, כי פה שהעולם מילד, עם חיוך של מלאכים תשמור על העולם מילד, כי אנחנו כבר לא מצליחים. The Oath by Avraham Shlomsky. By these eyes that have seen the woe, their outcries heaving to my heart's embrace. By compassion which taught me to condone and forgive, till days did come too awful for grace. I've taken this oath as I breathe and live, to remember everything, every place, till the tenth generation forget no jot, till each of my insults be completely assuaged, till the last of my lashed has chastened their lot, cry heaven, if in vain was this night outraged, cry heaven, if by morning I resume my trod, and all this from my mind disengage. Never shall I forget that night, the first night in camp, which has turned my life into one long night, seven times cursed and seven times sealed. Never shall I forget that smoke. Never shall I forget the little faces of children whose bodies I saw turned into wreaths of smoke beneath a silent blue sky. Never shall I forget those flames which consumed my faith forever. Never shall I forget that nocturnal silence which deprives me for all eternity of the desire to live. Never shall I forget those moments which murdered my God and my soul and turned my dreams to dust. Never shall I forget these things, even if I am condemned to live as long as God himself. Never. Imale, machach Shabbat? Mommy, is tomorrow Shabbat? Can be tea. Yes, my girl. Imale, nalech le'el achorsha le'tayel? Mommy, shall we go for a walk in the grove? 
לא נלך איתי. אנו חיים בגטו. מהגטו אסור לצאת. No, my sweet girl, we won't go for a walk. We live in a ghetto. It is forbidden to leave the ghetto. אמא, אמאלה, את זוכרת אז את שולה? מומי, do you remember שולה? כן, yes I do. למה אינה באה אלינו? Why doesn't she come visit us? שולה איננה בגטו. שולה is not in the ghetto. נכתוב לה שתבוא. Let's write her so that she will come. מהגטו אי אפשר לכתוב, ואי אפשר לבוא לגטו. You can write from the ghetto, and you can come into the ghetto. אימאלה, מתי אלך לגן? מומי, when will I go to kindergarten? אין בגטו גן ביתי. There is no kindergarten in the ghetto, my girl. ומתי תביא שוב פרחים לשבת, כמו פעם שגרנו ברחוב מפו? And when will you bring flowers again for Shabbat, like you used to when we lived on Mapu Street? כנראה, בגטו אין פרחים. כנראה, in the ghetto there are no flowers. אז מה יש בגטו? So what is there in the ghetto? אני לא רוצה להיות בגטו, לא רוצה. אני רוצה, אני רוצה שיהיו לי פרחים. לפחות פרח אחד קטן. I don't want to be in the ghetto. I don't want to. I want to have flowers. At least one little flower. נלך מפה, אמא. נלך. Let's leave here, mommy. Let's leave. The well-known Yiddish lullaby by Mark Roshavsky describes children leave learning the Hebrew alphabet, symbolic of passing down the Jewish tradition from generation to generation. The song concludes, when you grow weary and old, you will understand that this alphabet contains the tears and weeping of our people. When you grow weary and burdened with exile, you will find comfort and strength with the Jewish alphabet. שאמות משהו ממני משהו ממני ימות בך ימות בך כתמות משהו ממך בי משהו ממך בי ימות איתך ימות איתך כי כולנו כן כולנו כולנו רקמה אנושית התחת חיה ואם אחת מאיתנו חולך מאימנו 
mashehu met banu mashehu nisha ito ineta The Nazis were determined to not just wipe out the Jews of their generation, but to exterminate the Jewish future. They failed, and many of those children who survived have spent the years since telling their stories, educating Jews and non-Jews about the dangers of intolerance and the need to respect the dignity of difference. These survivors made a con commitment to live for what the victims of the Shoah died for. As a people, we not only share a covenant of faith, we also share a covenant of faith. Today, as the number of Shoah survivors so sadly declined, the duty of remembrance falls on our generation and on our future generations not yet born. Yom HaShoah is a vital day in the Jewish calendar, providing us with a focal point for our remembrance. We cannot bring the dead back to life. but We can bring their memory back to life and ensure that they are not forgotten. We can undertake in our lives to do what they were so cruelly prevented from doing in theirs. In doing so, we make a great affirmation of life. We ensure that out of the darkest night, the light of the survivors and their memories remain. Faced with destruction, the Jewish people survived lo amu ki echye, says the psalm, I will not die, but will live.
הקהל מתבקש לעמוד לשירת התקווה. We rise for התקווה. 